Alright, I'm still recording. The cold is still trying to kick my ass, but I'm doing this for all of you. And besides, I gotta remove all the. I gotta do these fast. Done like two videos so far. So this is my third video for the upcoming Steven Soderbergh movie, No Sudden Move. And yeah, regardless of how. You know, I've always a, been a huge. um Steven Soderbergh fan, I've always liked, I think he's a very talented filmmaker, and, you know, like, he's one of the rare people who can almost do everything on his own, you know, like, you know, he can direct, he can write, but he can also shoot the movie, and, uh, what else? Yeah, he can also edit the movie, in fact, if I look up, uh, sorry, Steven Soderbergh. Yeah, not yeah Soderbergh. Um, so I'm looking at it here. Um, yeah, like I think he's actually been his own cinematographer since uh, what was the movie? That's, I do know. Like, uh, all right, so I'm looking at it here. Uh, Sex Lies and Videotape. No, no. I do know Aaron Bronkovich was shot by uh, Edward Lockman. Uh, Ed Lockman. So yeah. And, alright, so ever since Traffic, uh, he's been his own cinematographer, and he followed that up with Ocean's Eleven, and Full Frontal, and Solaris, in which I think he was the, ed he was, uh, the editor, uh, is, he was the editor starting with Solaris, and, um, let's see, Bubble, and, um, The Good German, and, um, uh, yeah, but, um, what's interesting, yeah, actually, uh, Ocean's Eleven was under a different editor, uh, the Ocean's Trilogy was, uh, Stephen Mirion, uh, Che, uh, who was the editor on, on, uh, Che? I do know it's a two-part film that, um, uh, Soderbergh directed. I liked part one better than part two. Paulo, Pablo Zumaraga, uh, I, sorry for butchering, but, um, Going down with a bad cold, and then going back to editing on the girlfriend experience. But he's mostly been his own cinematographer since uh, Traffic, and he sometimes edits his own films. It was the editor on The Informant, and oh, also Contagion. The, the most rewatched movie during the pandemic was freaking Contagion. Oh, Stephen Mirion. Contagion. And, um, yeah. Um,. Contagion, who was the editor on that, but he's mostly been his own operating as that cinematographer, director, cinematographer, editor since Haywire, and then Magic Mike, and then Side Effects. My dog is barking, I'm sorry. Uh, Behind the Candelabra, Logan Lucky, Unsane, High Flying Bird, The Laundromat, Let Them All Talk, and No Sudden Move. And he's now filming another movie. Man, C Soderbergh does not catch a damn. Soderbergh. Soderbergh, don't catch a break. Um, looking at the editor. Stephen Mirion, okay. Uh, so, he collaborated with Stephen uh, Mirion. Yeah. This film received renewed popularity part in 2020 because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah, I remember everyone, when the pandemic started, was just, like, recommending, you know, traffic up. Uh, Oh, yeah, uh, let me see what movies he's worked on, uh, Stephen Mirion, his collaborations with Soderbergh, so, uh, Traffic, Ocean's Eleven, Ocean's Twelve, uh, Ocean's Thirteen, The Informant, and Contagion, and, oh, he's, he's won, uh, he's actually won Best Film Editing for, uh, Traffic, um, Academy Award for Best Film Editing, and, I do know he, he mostly shoots uh movies for, like, he started off even doing some of Doug Lyman's earlier films, like, uh, for example, Swingers and Go. But he's also done the, edited the films directed by George Clooney, like, um, for example, Tw Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, Good Night and Good Luck, um, Leatherheads, The Ides of March, um, Monuments Men. Uh, Suburbicon and Midnight Sky, and he's also done movies for Alejandro Giannurito, Alejandro Gonzalez Giannurito, Alejandro Giannurito, 
uh, 21 Grams. Personally, not a big fan of it, but that's mostly because of Sean Penn in the movie, and Sean Penn always ruins my enjoyment of anything. Uh, Babel, that was good. Um, Beautiful, um, that was also another one. And Birdman and the Revenant, for which he also and uh, recently edited uh, Midnight Sky. So, yeah, I've been looking up a lot of stuff. Uh, oh, uh, a new film. What? Oh, Zoe Kravitz. Oh, it's apparently a COVID movie. His next, Soderbergh's next film is a COVID movie. During the COVID-19 pandemic in Seattle, an agoraphobic tech worker discovers evidence of a violent crime while reviewing a data stream and is met with resistance and bureaucracy when she tries reporting it to her company. To get involved, she realizes she must face her greatest fear by venturing out of her apartment and into the city streets, which are filled with protesters after the city council passes a law restricting the movements of the homeless population. I'm hoping it's good because uh, there have been two movies... Uh, most recent related to using COVID-19 as a plot point. And they were not good. For example, uh, so this, for example, Songbird, uh, that was not a good movie. 9% Rotten Tomatoes. My mom just showed up. And another film that came out earlier this year, um, literally uh, named Locked Down, uh, which was kind of Meh, best. I'm gonna go open the door. My mom's here. Alright, yeah, my mom just, uh, arrived, so I had to help her out. But yeah, Songbird and Lockdown were not really good movies. Um, I know that. But, you know, Songbird suffered from, yeah. But it's got a good cast here, like, uh, Zoe Kravitz, uh, Jacob Vargas, and, uh, this one is interesting, uh, Erica Christensen, um, I haven't seen her in a while, actually. Oh, she was in uh, Traffic with Soderbergh. I have to s and, yeah, flight, flight Plan, How to Rob a Bank. And um, I think she's mostly taking a bit of a backseat in her career recently because... Yeah. Uh, God. Yeah, beautiful. Erica Christensen is a beautiful woman. I just... Uh, hold on a second. But yeah, sad part. Uh, Erica Kirsten, very beautiful woman. Sad, bad news is she's a Scientologist. Goddamn Scientologists. Here's the thing, I, I really try not to care much about Scientology, but yeah. Uh, so this is like her coming back. It's interesting because about no sudden move, a certain actor is coming back I into the limelight recently. Um, yeah, I'm looking at it right here. Brendan Fraser is in the movie, and I'm glad Brendan Fraser's coming back, because I've missed the guy. And right here, back to No Sudden Move, it says, Set in 1995 Detroit, the movie centers... Yeah, I, I've read this plot before when I react to the teaser, but this is the official trailer. So, uh, let's see what uh, we have in store for us. <clears throat> Ugh. The man wants to see me. Alley, alley, it looks really well shot. He can't come in here. What is he, white? Brendan Fraser! Oh, yes. Boy. So, what's the score? Boom, 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 boom. We're sending a man that works in an office to pick something up. You are part of a babysitting team watching his family while he does it. Good morning. Everything is normal, except. What do you want? Is that something you'd say? Normal Monday? I'm gonna shoot you right now. Can I go home now? Wait at the house after. Wait. What do you mean? I'm gonna I know shoot you right now. Can I go home? Is that, uh, Josh Stamberg? Noticed him, or... No, maybe it's just... No, maybe it's John Hamm. I don't know. It is John Hamm. Okay, yeah. Uh, this movie now has my attention. It's good. Wait at the house after. What do you mean after? Right off of you. What is going on? What's going on, big guy? Yeah, what are we doing? We're following instructions. Are you helping me or are you not helping me? No, 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 no. no. Dang. Set up, man. Got 
God called me, offering me ten thousand dollars. Turn you in, fifteen for the white guy. No, thank you. It's not Bill Duke. Oh, it looks like Bill Duke now. right here. Hold on. Sorry, I pause every time. God. Uh, it is Bill Duke. Offer me ten thousand dollars to turn you in. I'm wondering if that's Keith David. Fifteen for the white guy. Think he's the only one that can make a move. I can make a move too. Have the case. I like to listen to the radio. I'm gonna shoot you right now! Organized crime, like the mob. Well, I guess that's the $64,000 question. Knock it off of your it's been a long day. I'll put this over you so I can relax. Thank you. You having a good time? David. Oh, David Harbour, that's why. David Harbour. Um, yeah. Okay, with Ray Liotta, John Yim. I'm glad Brennan's making a comeback. Apparently as a mop. Jordan Tolkien. Oh, Julia Fox. Um, I I just thought of Julia Fox right now. Yes, I, I'm thinking of Uncut Gems. I'm a man of culture. I think Julia Fox is very attractive. And I, I've seen Uncut Gems to understand. <laughs> Julia Fox. She was great in Uncut Gems, by the way. So, how'd it go? I had a little slip up at work. I don't think that's the end of that. Are you chicken now? Oh. The problem is, you're not smart enough to know how not smart you are. Which makes you unpredictable. Which makes you untrustworthy. Why are you doing this, man? Because I'm going to get what's mine. I'm sorry. I'm going to punch you now, sir. I'm punching you. Damn it. Freaking damn it. It's... Oh, all right. Wait. Hold on. Do I get close caption? Oh. You. This is going to be a punch. <laughs> All right, streaming July first, uh, exclusively on HBO Max. Ah, damn, it's warm. It's cause I just turned it on. Yeah, that looks pretty good so far. I actually want to see what the comments uh, are saying. Wow, John Hamm and David Harbour almost looked alike. Was well, hoping that Cheadle and Soderberg would make movies together again. You knickers, you had one job to do. <laughs> Oh god, I remember John Don Cheadle's accent in Ocean's Eleven caused a lot of controversy. Um yeah, so many Dutch angle shots. Looks interesting. Interesting Yeah, that's a thing. Soderbergh just loves the heist films. Oh yeah, Brendan Fraser on uh, Doom Patrol. This looks like it would be a pretty good Fargo season. Um so yeah, I'm looking at the cast here. Yeah. Also, uh Noah Jupe, uh I recognize he was in the movie. Uh yeah. Um, he's a British actor. He's best known for Suburbicon, Wonder, both Quiet Place Part 1 and 2, and Ford v. Ferrari. And, uh, yeah, Bill Duke, I saw there. Frankie Shaw. Now, maybe it was Bill Duke, uh, but, yeah. But Julia Fox in the movie, um. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But yeah, uh, okay, so it's probably going to premiere at Tribeca next week. Um, so yeah, it looks interesting so far, and I am definitely going to check it out. It's also written by uh, Ed Solomon, uh, if I look it up here. Ed Solomon, who um, yeah wrote all three Bill and Ted movies, uh, both the Now You See Me movies, uh, the first Men in Black movie, the first Charlie's Angels movie. Um, he directed a pro. He directed a movie called Levity. Um, directed by Ed Solomon, starring yeah, thirty four percent. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, Ed Solomon, and uh, he also worked on a uh, television. Um, so yeah, 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, this was the official trailer for No Sin Move. July 1st on HBO Max. I'm checking it out. I'm definitely gonna check it out. I'm gonna review it, because if Soderbergh, I'm, I'm, in, I'm gonna be into it. Although, his only film I really did not care for was Full Frontal. That movie was not good. So, I'm gonna end the video here. I'll leave a link to the video in the description down below. I'll also leave a link to my Instagram page. Now I'm starting to feel better. <laughs> Alright, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I guess uh, if you do subscribe, hit that bell to stay notified. And uh, I'm gonna wish you all, I'm gonna end the video here. Godspeed, everyone. Take care.